Now let's do some things with this. We could add a menu that we could tack right along the side of this, um, which I think we should. So let's add a menu. And how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. Rectangle. Let's draw a box right in here. There we go. We don't need it to be too terribly big. I'm going to change the background color. Right now it has no color. So maybe I'll leave it no color. I'll leave it no color. So I'm going to type in some words. Home. And being lazy, I'll grab my key. My I'll set this up the way I want it to look, and then I'll grab my um, arrow key. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's type in 16. 16 is pretty big. So 16. And I'll make my font the font I've been using. There we go. And I'm going to leave it to the left like that, I think. Now I'm going to grab my arrow key, and I'm going to click, and I'm going to hold my option key and drag down one. Let go. Click again. Hold the option key and drag down. And I'm going to change from home to text. And then we'll set this at end. All right, there we go. Now this is not a menu from the menu bar. This is just words, because what we're going to do is we're going to add anchors. So come over here, and you'll see there's a little anchor. And I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag this anchor right on here. Just pop it right there, and I'll name that home. And then I'm going to grab another anchor, and I'm going to drag it right. Click the anchor, it helps. I'm going to grab the anchor, and I'm going to drag it right there. I could put it at the side, it doesn't really matter, and I'll name that text. Say OK. And then I'll scroll all the way to the bottom, and I'll get another anchor, and I'm going to put it right above the end. And I'll name it, uh, what did I say that? I, I think I named it end. Okay, I think I named it end. Doesn't matter, really. All right, so now I have to connect all these. So all I have to do is take my arrow key, click home, go under the uh, hyperlink, and you'll see a list, home. And then I've got text. Do the same thing. And we'll put text. And then on end, we'll put, uh, oops, wrong one. We'll put uh, end. Now we'll go test it. Shortcut for that is Command Shift E. All right, if I click text, scrolls up to text. Now you'll notice it disappeared. We'll fix that. We're going to make it move. And then end, and it goes down at the end. Now look at this. This didn't stretch all the way across. Now I know why. So I need to go into my um, master, and the reason is this is not set at 100%. So when it says 100%, it will, um, it will go ahead and do what you need it to do. So let's go over here, and Command-Shift-D, that should fix it. Should fix it. Yep. So sometimes if a bar doesn't stretch all the way across, make sure you've stretched out where it says 100%. Otherwise, it doesn't work the same. So things are working. So if I click End, it goes to the end. All right. So that works. The thing is that um, this, is, this is, goes away the minute we uh, do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm going to set this to stay at the top. So the way I'm going to do this is pin it to the top using the pin. Where's the pin? Here's the pin up here. Pin, and I think that should do it. And you'll see that it's there. Now I probably want to put some color behind that now that I've seen it. And I think lining it up would be a good idea too. So let's pop over. Let's get these all aligned. And there's a, an alignment box. If it's not showing, you can come over here, Window, and Align. There it is. And I'm going to align everything on the left. And I'm fine. I don't need to do anything else. So I'm going to put a color in the box, the rectangle that's around it. So maybe I'll put, um, I'll put white. 
but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put sort of make it semi-transparent so it doesn't you know so you can see through it so let's try that again Sh command shift E and here we go and you can easily see so if I click home it scrolls back text and home nice huh so that's how you can set a menu for that